Hi babies! <laughs> Welcome! My name is Blair and this video is for people who are 18 years old and over. If you are not an adult, please keep walking. Otherwise, if you are 18 and over, this video is going to be me Oh my god. This video is going to be me knocking over my drink. This video is going to be me talking about my new diaper display shelves. Oh. I haven't had an energy drink in like a month. Okay, so I apologize for the angle. <laughs> But this thing is huge and it was really hard to get it into the shop, but for my first video, I was like trying to come up with ideas of something fun and I've had this requested. Oh, sorry, a weird bird just landed outside my window and I... Hello, friend. <laughs> okay, so it spins like this. I got it on Gumtree which is like a Craigslist in Australia for really cheap but then delivery on Airtasker ended up being really expensive so I don't know if it was actually like a cheap find or if it would have been cheaper to just find it from a store and get it delivered but anyway I needed it and I wanted it and it's here today. It's very huggable and um yeah, I'm going to do a tour and a bit of a review of different diapers I've tried. I think I'll start with the first ones I tried because I tend to, I didn't really like the first couple I tried. So it'll get, it'll be better with age, like an actual tree as we get taller. Okay, so these were the first I ever tried. They are the original version one Bambinos, I'm pretty sure. If I say anything that's incorrect... I'm not, I haven't been an ABDL for, you know, since the beginning of time. And if my information is wrong, I'm really sorry, but I'll do my best. Um, these didn't fit me very well. I found them super uncomfortable. They were really tight around my hip flexors, which I, I don't know, hate. And I remember being really sad because... I thought that that meant I wouldn't be able to wear diapers for more than like 10 minutes at a time without it being just really uncomfortable. I have a sensory disorder so if something isn't really soft and comfortable I can't like focus on anything else and I find it really overwhelming. So these even though they're super pretty, um, I've pretty much worn them in a couple of photos and ripped them off. and. They fit very like, I don't know, low in the hips and then tight across the top of your thighs and they're cute but not for me. Okay, I'm pretty sure these were the next ones I got which are the pink DC Amores with the little kittens and man these diapers make me really sad because they are such a cute design. But again, they fit me so weird and wrong and not cute. The whole front part kind of sags forward for some reason. Um, they look cuter. Honestly, these look cuter when they're still wrapped <laughs> than when I put them on. They just look ugly and horrible on me anyway. Um, I think maybe they would fit like a more petite frame. But yeah, they were the next one I tried. Hated them as well. I was feeling pretty bummed out and I think I went through a big cloth stage straight after that because cloth diapers are really comfortable and fit really easily and I was kind of like maybe disposables aren't for me but then these were the little for big I don't know the name of them it's the blue and yellow one and I really went for these because of the color way I'm not into pink, I'm not into princesses or unicorns. I will like actively not buy anything with a princess or a unicorn. Um, or that's really pink. I have a couple of pink things. I hardly ever wear them, not into it. I'm much more of a gender neutral kind of baby. 
I like a lot of white and soft pastel colors, but I really like blue and these just spoke to me. I love the moons and the fit of these. I think this was the first diaper I ever tried that actually fit me really well and it just blew my mind and I was like, oh my God, little for big are the diapers that fit me the best. So then I bought, I'm gonna grab both because to be honest, I really don't know which one is which, but little for big, one of them's like vintage something and one of them's like little cuties and the design is extremely similar. The main difference is that the sides on one of them is like a baby blue like gingham, which I like the best. And the other one is like a uh, pink. <laughs> I know I couldn't think of that. With just like random doodling on it. Um, and I'm pretty sure that these are the exact same build as the these. And for pretty much like six months, I just was only really interested or paying any attention to little for big diapers because I was like, these are the ones that fit me and they're really comfortable and I really like the designs, blah, 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 blah. Except for, I will say the other day, I reached for one of these and the tapes had completely lost their stickiness. So I don't know if they get old or something because I bought up like a few bags of this pattern so I don't know if they've gone bad or whatever, but that really annoyed me because it was like such a waste of a diaper to like go to put it on and then the glue was just like completely gone. And then I just had to get another diaper anyway. So anyway, I don't know if I just got a, a bad random one, but that really annoyed me. So the next ones that I tried, one that isn't here, but it was the version two Rears Little Monsters. So these are the version threes. It was the version two. They didn't fit me, <laughs> they didn't work for my body at all, the build was just really weird and I remember being really disappointed because I'd always like seen this pattern and really really liked it. It doesn't have a lot of pink, it's got a lot of blue, it's got yellow, it's very gender neutral, um, super cute, loved it, but yeah. The version 2 did not fit but then like a week later or something the version 3's came out and I tried them and they are a really good fit for me. I like them a lot. I've, I went through a stage of wearing them all the time, but then I went through a stage of not wanting to wear them because I was trying to save them because for a while they were like my favorites. Um, around that time, I also tried the little squirts by Riz and I don't know whether these are version two or version three. I'm assuming they're the version twos because I think version ones are the ones that are actually blue. But I really like them. I kind of tend to go for them because they're not my favorite and I don't feel like I'm like wasting a diaper to wear these. So I don't know. I know that's like really weird to say, but I tend to wear them a lot because like I wouldn't be upset if I ran out of them. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm just like a diaper hoarder and I'm going to end up with like all these diapers I'm obsessed with but then not want to wear them and then have to have other diapers that I don't like that I wear all the time. I don't know. So anyway, around the time I tried the little squirts and they fit me really well. So that's where I'm a bit confused because they're def- I think- <laughs> I think they're a different build to the version 2 of the little monsters because they fit me. But I don't know. I'm not sure. And... What was next? Whoops. Anyway, just watch me spin this for a while. How amazing, right? Okay, so then, then I tried the little trunks. These are by Little For Big. When they arrived, I panicked because they are so small in comparison to the other Little For Big diapers. Like, I can't be bothered opening them up, but I did when they arrived, because I was like, did I order the wrong size? And they are like, it's like comparing two different sizes. Like if you lay this on top of that one, there's a, like a gap. But I messaged a couple of people being like, what the hell? And everyone was like, oh no, it's like, that's normal or whatever. And I tried them on and they fit totally fine. So I don't know, maybe I'm, I don't know how that works. 
don't know how that works. But these are a completely different type of diaper to the other three Little for Big. They're really, really soft. They feel a lot like a baby diaper, in my opinion. I'm sure there's plenty of ones out there that are softer, but this was one of the first diapers I tried that was really soft. Soft to the point where when it's wet, like I've accidentally torn it a couple of times. So good and bad, like good that it's really soft, but bad that you have to kind of be gentle with whatever you're doing because they can just like tear open. Um, these are, I really like these because when you wet them, you can see it really clearly. Um, and with a lot of the other diapers I've tried, even after a couple of weddings, they look exactly the same. Um, and you can't really tell. So if you're someone like me who likes to be able to look down and like see that you've wet a diaper, I really recommend these. They're very baby. They're very gender neutral and I like them. I like also polka dots. Amazing. Can't go wrong. I was really excited to try these and then they didn't disappoint. And I think that that's like one of the best things that can happen. Cause sometimes if you're really looking forward to something, and you try it and you don't like it, it's like kind of devastating. So then, then I got a bunch of samples, some of which I've already used, so I can't really show you, but I've got the little dinos. I haven't actually tried these. I think they're super cute and I'm excited to try them, but at this stage, nothing to say because I haven't tried them. Um, I tried the Rears Barnyard and the Rears Alpacas. I was really put off by both of these for like a long time because I'm like vegan. So animals on a farm isn't like a cute vibe to me. And same with like alpacas. Like I always just think of animals with like rings through their noses. I don't know, it's just, it's not a baby vibe. It kind of like bums me out and makes me sad. Like if they didn't have like saddles and stuff on them, I'd be like, yay, it's just some llamas in a field. But because they're all like, they're like working animals. I don't know, I just don't find it that cute. But anyway, I got them anyway. <laughs> to try, I really like the green. There's definitely not enough green diapers. I just don't really like the alpacas. Um, the Rears Barnyard, actually, I kind of like them. And when I had a closer look, there's a lot of like, there's like little bees, there's ducks. I'm obsessed with ducks. And it's not that like farmy. Like, I really don't like baby designs that have like a tractor and a farmer and all of that stuff. I'm just like, I don't know. It's just not my, not my thing. But this is basically just like, animals with smiley faces and like bumblebees and ducks and stuff and the capacity of these is really good like for an overnight diaper for me it held maybe like four or five weddings and still was like really nice and crinkly and I don't know I don't know how I feel I <laughs> I like them but I've just like been so not into them for so long that I feel like really conflicted. With the alpacas, it was fun to try them out. Um, I actually, the one that I tried actually exploded and went like all of the crystals exploded like up my back. But that was my fault because like I massively overfilled it and it was my fault, not the diaper's fault. But anyway. I'm not sure that I would like purchase them again, but I guess it was fun to try something different. Um, I recently tried the Rears like medical diaper brand and I tried the like Inspire one. It looks, they just look like this. They're plain white, but they say they have like writing on them and it's not plastic. It's like the Velcro and I really like them. Like I've used them all up, so I don't have any on my precious little rotating Christmas tree of diapers. These are whatever the other one is, basically. I I wish it had it written on it because I can't remember, but whatever the Rears medical ones are that are plain white, there's the Inspire one, which I loved. And then there's the other one, which is, the, which is this. If there's more than that, then I really, this is like pretty much a mystery diaper. But yeah, I've got these to try. 
which I'm excited about, but I just haven't really had the opportunity. Which brings me to the most exciting, the most exciting diapers to talk about, which is the Bambinos. So I have wanted to try Bambinos diapers basically since watching mindlessly diapers videos and her saying that they're her favorite diapers and obviously she's probably tried a squillion more diapers than me and I was like I need that so I got a sample of the ones with the teddy bears just because they're super cute but they're basically just like a normal diaper plasticky blah 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 um and I haven't tried those yet but Oh my god, these ones. I don't, <laughs> I don't remember the name of them, but it's the one with like the dinosaurs and the little eggs and they're holding numbers and stuff. The front is Velcro and this is what I've got on right now. This is actually the first day that I've tried these out and they were recommended to me because I was complaining. Oh, I need to change position. I was complaining about how I really hate the side parts of diapers because they're basically just like hard plastic that digs into your hip flexors and on a normal like baby diaper the sides are like stretchy soft like material which is why I guess a lot of people like to wear pull-ups because they're just like super comfortable anyway and then I heard that these have stretchy fabric like soft sides so I finally ordered some and this is what I'm wearing right now. I'm gonna stand up and show you. I didn't, I can't even handle like how comfortable this is. I know this is like not a good like angle or whatever, but this is by far the most comfortable diaper I've ever worn in my life. I'm really not, yeah. I don't know which one they are, but if you look at the Bambino's diapers, you'll see the ones that have stretchy sides and it's one of those. I definitely will try all of them now, but I tried these um, and I don't know, like now that I've tried a diaper with stretchy sides, I really don't think that I would ever like wear anything else but to be fair whenever I get a new diaper that I like I say that <laughs> and I think that um that's my favorite forever and that's the only diaper I'm ever going to bother wearing and then I get something else new I've actually got the North Shore Mega Max on the way in the post in pink and white and I've heard amazing things so maybe I'll try those and be like these are my favorite forever <laughs> um but so far, these are amazing. Thank you for listening to me talk about my special diaper tree. I'm really obsessed with it. I I have a thing about like cube storage just because it just, it, I don't know why. I'm just not a fan. I was like, I need something else. And I love the idea of like waking up and just like spinning my little diaper tree and being like, what shall I wear today? Um, I'll probably end up packing away the ones that I don't like and don't wear or just give them to friends if they like the design because again like I've noticed a lot of people will swear by a diaper that I personally can't like don't like at all so I think body shape has a lot to do with it so hopefully I'll try many more thank you for meeting my new friend I might name him, I don't know, but it's also cool, um, you can't really see on this angle, but the top of it is like a platform, so when I move into my new nursery in about a month, I'll have like some cool toy or some, I don't know, something arranged on top. Um, I think it's super fun, and yeah, that's about it. You can find me on pretty much every platform that there is, if you want. And thanks for watching and it was great meeting you and let me know what you'd like to see. I, yeah, if you want to see stuff, if you want me to do tours of things, um, bing bang boom.